Okay, so using either eight pounds or you can have sixes or fives, keep it just a light weight until you build up a little bit. You're gonna do a circuit that goes 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two sets of each circuit, and there's five circuits. I like to take about a half a minute off in between each of the sets. So say you go through the first four moves, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10. That takes about two minutes. Take a half a minute off and then do another two minutes, moving on to the next circuit. Or you could go through the whole thing, circuit one to five and you're done. Or one to five and then do another set. Totally up to you. Basically it's not high repetitions, but Higher repetitions, lighter weight, obviously building some strength, building some cardio, but not too much, but just to keep the muscles healthy, to get the blood flowing, that will feel a lot better. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna use the eight pounds, but I might switch out to the fives, in, out, in, out. But the first exercise is to do a squat. So you're just doing a shoulder width squat, feet are a little bit wider than your hips, just so that you can go down and up sitting as if you're sitting into a chair. So we're gonna go for 20 seconds. Ready? So you're gonna do it in one, two, three, four, five, begin. So you're just sitting, stand, push through your legs, use the legs, watch your back, sit those hips back, squeeze your glutes when you come up, that's your butt, point the knees forward, sit with a hinge through the knees, and stop. Wait for 10 seconds, then we're gonna bring those hands up to our shoulders, soften your knees, watch your low back, keep your core tight. Ready, set, go. So you're doing an overhead press, just pushing up. Keep the chin just a little bit elevated. If you're looking to the edge or corner of your ceiling, neck should be loose. Watch the traps, the back of the neck. We got about five seconds, three, two, and one. Take a break. Relax. We're putting the two moves together. So we're gonna sit with the, with the squat, come up and overhead press. Ready, set, go. So you're bringing those hands here, you sit, you push, bring them back down to your sides. Bring up to your shoulders and sit, push, bring them back to your sides. Bring them up, sit, push, down to the sides, relax in between, sit, push, maybe one more for good luck, sit, push and recover for just 10 seconds. We're gonna do a quick little cardio, so like quick feet. Ready, set, go. So just move those feet and keep your hands up, almost like something's coming at you, so you're pushing back. That way the blood flow has to go up to the hands, down to the feet, little muscle confusion. <sighs> Breathing, <sighs> get a little bit tired. Two, one, done. Relax, so this is where you recover. For 30 seconds or longer, whatever you need, get that heart rate to regulate. You might find you're breathing heavy now. Calm it down. So that's that little bit of anxiety that happens in the body, and then you just wanna calm it down. Next move, we'll do circuit two. That way you have an idea of where you're going with this. So we're just gonna sit, sumo squat, point your toes out, make sure your knees track, over to the toes, the big toe. So they're opening wide for the inner thigh. Squeeze your butt when you're going up. Ready, get in position, go. So you're dropping down, nice and low, and use your breath here, okay? So inhale, exhale. That way, you regulate the breath and you're moving the muscle with the breath. Good, all the way up. Use the big muscles in the legs. Couple seconds, one more for good luck. Relax, shake out the legs a little bit. Keep your feet in place, hands just go out in front of you, palms to your body. We're gonna pull up with our elbows, so we're going into a high pull. Start whenever you're ready. So just join me, pull. It's like you're pulling big firmer pants up, okay? So pull up in front of you, use the upper back muscles. So you're pulling back around the bra line. Use the shoulders, not your neck. Good, maybe one more. Breathe and recover. We'll put the two together. Deep breath, 
calm down the heart rate. We sit down, so we're gonna go down and pull up one motion. So we're comboing the two moves. We've got the lower and upper working together. Breathe out. Breathe in when you're down there. Pull, don't go too low. And maybe one more. Perfect. Take a break. Come up slowly. Toe heel, walk your feet in. Put your weights down. So here's where you can just kind of run side to side or a lateral jump. See how your knees feel? Cardio, go. So you can be here, whatever. Dance. <laughs> Dance around. Skip on the spot, whatever you want. Just a little bit of cardio. Get the blood moving, circulating. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. <sighs> Have a sip of water. Good job. So, heart rate should go up when you're done because we usually don't <laughs> breathe properly when we're doing the cardio. So now my heart rate's going up which I love, you feel that anxiety, that anxious feeling. How do I breathe, how do I regulate? Super healthy for the body to learn how to go into that sort of panic mode and then rest, right? So it's figuring out that whole fight flight and then rest, digest, so really healthy. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. Let's move on to the next one. I'm still working with the eight pounds, but you can work with fives, sixes, tens, whatever you want to do. But we're going to go into a sumo squat hold here. So we want our back as if we're leaning against a wall. Pelvic tilt, squeeze your glutes. And right here, you're just doing a half squat. So we're really isolating the thighs. When you're ready to join me, let's go. 20 seconds, just pulse it out, breathe. How many times am I going to say breathe? It's so important. So many people hold their breath when they're under strain or stress, the muscles, you may not even know it, but then you stop breathing. But that's the only energy source or fuel we have right now. Okay, one more and break, 10 seconds. Keep your feet there. Now you're going into a bicep curl. Basic bicep, get into the arms, okay? Ready, curl them to you. Now, keep those elbows pointed to the ground. Wrists are nice and strong and really grip the handles. That gets the bicep to know, hey, you want me to do some work. So the wrists don't drag, you're not building in your shoulders, nothing in your back. Let's do one more for good luck and recover. Okay, so now we're gonna hang out in that sumo squat. We're gonna stay low, hang out right there. And in that trap, isometric contraction, we're gonna curl. Ready, go. So same curl, but now we are actually compounding the movement because we're holding a squat. So the lower body has to work while the upper body is working. Pelvic tilt, squeeze your abdominals nice and tight. And then the muscles in the legs, let them hug the thighs, like tighten them right up. Tell them what to do from your mind, not just from your body. All right, one more, ready, squeeze and come up slowly. Toe heel walk, <sighs> feel those legs. All right, the cardio, you could use a bench, you could use your couch, whatever. Basically, I do want you to do a half burpee, stand. Half burpee, jump out, stand, join me. Half burpee, stand. Half burpee, stand. Or, little jump. Half burpee, little jump or half burpee, big jump, totally up to you. Let's do two more. The option is to even walk it out, depending how tired you're getting, and take a break. Woo, that's circuit three. Breathe it out, half a minute, grab some water. Keep an eye on that clock. So, for the next piece, we're getting into um, a plank. A plank works the entire body, so everything, you know, shoulders, neck, back, arms, thighs, tries. So you're gonna be in a high plank. The only thing is your wrists. Be careful of your wrists. So we wanna open the fingers up. Nice big stars, okay, with your fingers. We're gonna hold that high plank. I'm sorry, bring your dumbbell with you. <laughs> you need one. Hold your high plank for 20 seconds. 
Then we're going to row on our right for 20, left for 20, and we're going to do a pull through. That will be our active movement, like a cardio, but you won't feel the heart rate go up. All right, climb into your plank. Breathe. Got to keep an eye on the clock. Perfect. Shift your weight forward. Feel your pointer finger and your thumb, the inner border of your hand, making contact with the floor. Then push your weight back. So you stretch your Achilles tendons, your calves. Then in your belly button, push it up like you just zipped up a sweater. So the girdle is nice and tight. Beautiful. Take a knee. Relax. Recover. While I show you what I'm doing next, which is going to be a single arm row. So the center hand is going to come in a little more narrow in the center line. I'm going to widen my feet. Okay? So get in position here. And all we're going to do, pull the weight up beside our chest without trying to tip our hips. Pull, release. Pull, release. Settle the shoulders. Settle the neck. Meaning, talk to it. Be soft. Prepare the body to be in a trap position while still being able to move. All right, we're going to take a knee. Relax. <sighs> Stretch it out. We're going to the second side. I'm turning. You don't have to. Stay where you are. Set it up. Feet wide. Hand below you, slightly in the middle. And row. Now, we want to make sure that weight's coming up beside the breast, beside the chest. Men, woman, doesn't matter. Breast is in the same place. Um, right around the chest, around the upper rib cage. No matter where, where the head lies or falls. Keep going. Two, maybe one more. Beautiful. Take a knee. Relax. Okay, I love the last move. It's called the pull through. The idea is not to rock the hips. And all I'm doing is I'm going to put the weight underneath my stabilized arm, take my opposite hand, let's release, put it to the side, change hands, put it to the other side, change hands. And if you're not going, Begin. Now that you know what it looks like, pull it through. Breathe. This is your active movement, somewhat like your cardio. Hands are wide, feet are wide, keeping the hips pretty square. They're allowed to move with you a bit. And we'll do one more. And relax. That's four seconds. Awesome. It's a quick workout. Um, it hits everything in the body. You know that. Lots of water, lots of hydration. That's actually how we feed the muscle right now and recovery too. Okay, the next one, you're gonna be on your back. To be careful of your low back here, there's a neutral spine, a natural arch, which is fine. However, in this move, we wanna press it down. Now you take the weight and you put it on your hips. You could do two weights if you want. I sometimes do two weights most often. And we're gonna do a hip lift, so a bridge. The idea is to just lift the hips as high as you can. Ready, and begin. Squeeze, bring it down. Squeeze, now. The chin, pretend there's a tennis ball between your chin and your chest. The knees, you don't want them to splay when you lift. Squeeze those inner thighs towards each other. They're not touching. Get a nice tight squeeze in the glutes. Create the highest bridge you can, depending on your range of motion, and push into your heels. All right, we're taking a break. The next one is a pullover. Love the pullover. Take your belly button, push it down. So we're gonna flatten out that back, slight pelvic tilt. We're gonna reach over our head and bring it up over our chest. Join me whenever you're ready. Now watch that chin, Just keeping it elevated. Lots of length in the back of the neck and the front of the neck. So that's our thoracic area, that's where we breathe from. We don't want to pinch it off. Big breath in as you reach over. Exhale as you bring it up. Let's go for three more seconds. Big reach. Exhale and recover. So we're going to link the two here. Big movement, okay? So what we're going to do is as the hands are coming up and down, we're going to move those hips, okay? So hips down, arms go back. Lift. Bring everything in the center line as you lift up. Join me when you're ready. Big stretch. When you're reaching over, contract as you come up. This is working around the bra line, lower abdominals, glutes, 
they're sitting a lot, which a lot of us are. Okay, so big stretch. Let's do a couple more seconds. Should feel good, shouldn't feel trapped, and take a break. All right, last move. Hands are over the chest, you keep them there. Then you pick up your left knee, pick up your right knee. And we're just gonna pedal. So we're gonna do a lower abdominal, compounding with the upper. Extend and watch the space in the low back. You're allowed a little neutral. Yeah, I'm enjoying this start. <laughs> um, you're allowed a little neutral, but you do wanna be aware of pushing the ribs down, flattening out the spine. And the legs kick out as low as you feel comfortable. Okay, so it might be better for you to kick out a little higher. Higher is just a little bit easier. Taking the pressure off the low back, but watch that low back when you go down low. Or move them like you're climbing. <laughs> Pedal up a wall. All right, couple seconds. Two, one, done. <sighs> okay, put the weight down. <laughs> right here is where you just take a moment to decompress, let go, relax. Maybe add in just some of the stretching, breathing, gentle meditation, but just take a moment here before you jump up and move on with your day. Or you're going back through what we just did for a second time, or as I said in the beginning, you could do two sets back to back. The first circuit, do it twice. Second circuit, do it twice. You can do up to three times, depending how much time you have, but that should have taken you if you're uh, getting used to it and comfortable with it, maybe 10 minutes, okay? Awesome, be careful coming up. And that's it, done. <laughs> Have a good day.